everybody. Welcome to TheBeatMajors.net. Man, so recently, um, December 1st, which was Friday, um, we had a song that we produced uh, called uh, Complaining. Um, it's by James Garden, and that song was played on ESPN's first tape. I don't think you guys know how exciting this is. This is like our second national TV placement this year. Um, earlier this year we were played on the NFL Network. Unfortunately I couldn't make a video for that beat because that beat um, is corrupted. The file was corrupted so we couldn't open it back up to get into it, to break it down, to kind of show you guys how we did it. But here we are with the beat for complaining from ESPN's first take. Um, this is very exciting. As you guys know, we have produced for um, Fox Network in the past. Um, we've been featuring a lot of different things and things like that, but ESPN First Take is very big and we are very grateful for this opportunity. Shout out to James Garden. Shout out to uh, Elect Recordings um, for the alley-oop. Man, you guys are so great. I appreciate the opportunity. Um, this is a song that we created back in 2015 and it is now coming into fruition for you know the world to really truly hear it. Um, the song is on Spotify. If you guys want to check it out, Spotify, iTunes, um, Google Play, all those different um, uh, markets it is on for you guys to check out so just type in James Garden complaining um, and you can check the song out but again like I said the song was featured on ESPN's first take and I'm just blown away you know I was at I was at work I was at my job and I got the text from James and he was like yo it happened you know someone tweeted about it and they said they saw the song on there which is dope unfortunately I don't have any footage to give you guys but I do have a picture And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a great feeling, man. So I just want to get into breaking the beat down just to kind of show you guys how it came about, how we did it, how we created it, um, the different elements in the beat as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, we're going to record, I'm going to do a screen record just to kind of show you guys just how I usually do. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Enough talking. All right. So let's go ahead and, uh, get into this, uh, beat breakdown here so I can kind of show you guys how we put together the beat. Um, for the uh, ESPN first take um, so basically I started off here with the uh, main sample um, there is a sample in here this is basically this is a sample um, so there's a main sample and then I filtered the sample just to kind of get the base out of the sample and uh, use that for the baseline but let's check out the actual sample itself so you can hear what it uh, what it sounds like So that's the uh, the main the overall sample, and that's a sample that's pretty much used throughout the uh, the whole beat. Um, and then, like I said, what I did was I filtered that main sample out. I cut out the low end of the main one just to kind of get just the instruments, just the uh, higher end of it. Um, and then I filtered the out fil <laughs> filtered the sample out so that uh, the bass sounds like this um, here. So that way, because I, I like this so much, I like the sample so much, I didn't want to take away from the sample itself. This is something right here. That's usually how it goes for me. Um, if I like a sample really a lot and then it has like a baseline in it and I don't want to lose any of those elements from the sample, I'll just filter the the um, the base out of it basically by, um, I'll show you here what I did, how I did that or how I achieved that. Um, basically, all you have to do here is... Uh, take the filter i mean take the sample um i put a f the fruity f free filter on it put a low pass filter on it turn the uh the q knob all the way down set the frequency around to 198 hertz so that's the only frequency that you're going to hear um and then the gain is set at 5.8 and i think that's what this what the filter already was set at when i did it um and then i put a parametric eq2 on it um just to kind of clean it up a little bit more clean the low end up i cut it around 28 hertz just to kind of take anything out less than that I dr i'm sorry 31 hertz anything less than that i uh is gone and then anything higher than 198 hertz is gone as well um that's just to assure that that those pieces are missing out of the actual um filter put the fruity bass boost on it and then i put the sound guys are on it um might be overkill some may say it's overkill but 
eh, for this, it kind of it, it sounded really good for me. Um, and then of course, I use the CLA 76 um, through the Waves bundle. And that's pretty much how I got that bass filter to stand out as much as I did. Um, and of course, I side chained it to um, the main uh, sample is, itself. Um, so, yeah, so that's basically how that that happened there. Um, and the next thing that we I, uh, I added was, I think, the snare here. Um, so let's listen to the uh, snare with the sample. And that's that. Um, the next sound we have is the the kick, and this is how that sounds together. And then we have one set of hi hats here that I did, um, and let's listen to that. And that's just a constant tat 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 hit. Just you know, because um, hip hop really, you don't really have to go crazy with the hi hats. Um, and then I stacked it with another hi hat that sounds like this. Just a different element, and it sounds like this when you put it together. Just kind of made it sound, uh, stand out a little bit. Um, and then I put a crash in there, and it sounds like this. And then, of course, we stacked the snare with a clap um, later on, which sounds like this. And that mixed with the, and I didn't do the same pattern. I just hit every hit, but the end pattern, as you can see with the snare, I didn't do the same thing here on the clap. It sounds like this when you put it together. Nice smack. I love the way it smacks. Um, and then we put an open hi-hat as well in there, and that sounds like this. So this beat is basically simple. This this is real simple. It really was not a lot going on. Um, so just so you can hear everything together, I'll play it um, just in this hook part, this little hook loop um, going into the verse here. And then uh, you guys can, uh, you know kind of know how everything sounds together so let's go ahead and get into it Nice hip hop vibe, nice bouncy vibe, man. It's real smooth and funky. Um, didn't do too much. Like I said, I didn't want to take away from the sample itself. I wanted the sample to really drive the track. So all I did was just add drums on top of it because the sample was so dope the way that it was. So that's pretty much this track. Um, this song is called uh, Complaining and it's by James Garden. Um, the song was featured on, like I said, ESPN's first take um, and it will be on there uh, up until March. So you guys can, can if you guys are watching ESPN first take, hey, uh, our music is on there. And again, it's by James Garden. It's called Complaining. So the link will be in the description so you guys can check out the song on Spotify or whatever. Um, if you you know, have your phone in hand or something like that, and you just want to check it out while you're watching this video, you can go right to your Spotify, iTunes, or anything like that, and just type in James Garden and look for Complaining. Um, that is produced by the Beat Majors. Um, so I hope you guys like that. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button. All right, everybody, I thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate you all. Um, I definitely want to thank you all for, uh, you know, for subscribing, for liking um, everything. You know, we just passed 2,000 subscribers, as you guys know. I just want to thank you guys. <laughs> Ken, um, I can't thank you guys enough. So if I say it in the next 20, 30 videos, just know that you guys are very appreciated. Um, so thank you for watching. Like I said, make sure you guys go check out the song by James Garden called Complaining. Um, it will be on ESPN's first take up until March of next year. So you guys have enough time to listen to that song and see it on there. And if you see it on there, leave a comment below. If you guys hear the song or see the song or see the name pop up on the screen, um, as the screenshot showed, Definitely come back and leave a comment on the video so that we know that you guys are watching or you guys saw it and you guys, you know, heard it and let me know what you think you guys think. So until next time, y'all, I'll holla.